In this video, we would like to share our experiences with SMT companies, losses at SMT line, importance of correct data control on SMT, and need of skill manpower in this sector. I also would like to shortly introduce our company to you. Vibitech Solution was established in 2012 at Pune, Maharashtra. Since then, we are providing total SMT solutions to the SMT companies. Our services include SMT process setup, process audit, process consulting and training. The SMT process consulting focuses on manpower skill up, setup of SMT standards, productivity and quality improvements, material process setup, data control and machine maintenance planning. The consulting program starts with an audit where we make the targets as per the current status. In SMT, there are five common losses. First is programming loss, which is around 30 to 40 percent. Second is process loss, like changeover, machine breakdown, material searching, etc. Third is manpower loss, which is due to absenteeism or slow working. Fourth is quality loss, which is also referred to as Q cost. And last is a material loss. To avoid these losses, first you need to set a target. Maximum company decide the production target as per the program cycle time. That means if your programmer is intelligent, then the production will be higher and if he is poor, then the production will be less. The quality target is controlled as per the current PPM. But there are three types of PPM calculation method. First is joint method, second is point method, and third is PCB method. When I was working with one of the Korean company in India, our internal PPM was around 5000 PPM. At that time, one of the automobile customer informed us that your PPM is too higher. In automobile sector, it should be less than 100 PPM. At that time, I didn't focus a lot on this. But when I started my consulting business and visited several automobile companies, then I understood that they are controlling PPM by joint method. So at that time, my company's PPM was 20 by joint level. Let's discuss setting of target. To increase the productivity, first activity is program optimization, means minimizing the programming loss. Normally, the program optimization is done using the software. But as per my experience, you cannot achieve 100% optimization with machine software. Manual verification like simultaneous pickup, minimizing the nozzle chain, use of pre-rotation function, angle and mounting distance need to be verified after software optimization to achieve the best cycle time. Let's check how to set the program cycle time target. First, remember that the line-wise target should be fixed for all models. For that, you first need to decide your line tack time. Tack time means the time taken by pick and place machine to place one component. This is an example of one of the company. Here we first made the program with best optimization and then decided the maximum achievable capacity by their pick and place machine. So here we consider M165% from catalog CPH, M260% and M340% 
as M3 was considered multi-mounter. So considering this, we got a line utilization of 56% from the catalog CPH and the line pack time was 0.06 seconds. With pack time as per number of components per PCB, you can calculate the cycle time. This will be your target cycle time. Considering this, your programmer needs to achieve minimum possible cycle time. In actual, the cycle time will be higher than that of target cycle time, but at least you will get the target cycle time to do the best optimization. Also, you can get the actual reasons for your losses. By this, you can also get ideas to decide number of arrays in a panel for a new product and best suitable line configuration for new investment. Next is line of balance. To avoid losses, correct line balancing is too important. This is an example from one of the company. They had three pick and place machine in a line. The first table is the cycle time arranged by the programmer. Here, the first machine has less cycle time and the next one has more. In case the last machine stops, the total line will be stopped and the first machine is always waiting for 5 seconds in A model and 3 seconds for B model. In the second table, we only did the time arrangement because the multi-mounter will have more material change as compared to the chip mounter. Because one reel of chip component is of 10,000 components and E-class component is from 1K to 5K. So last machine will have more material change. In second case, first machine will continues to work even though the last machine has stopped because there is 5 seconds gap, each machine can keep one PCB buffer. So the total extra time is 17 seconds. In this way, you can reduce the downtime. Here, remember that SMT is different than that of manual insertion line. When we set the cycle time of manual insertion line, the fast working person is kept at the start of the line to make the further process faster but in case of SMT you need to set less cycle time at last machine the best cycle time is of third table the second loss is process loss maximum companies control the operating rate which includes downtime like changeover machine breakdown, material shortages, etc. These downtimes are the visible losses but the hidden downtime like program loss, process loss due to manpower working style can be controlled if you are controlling the product efficiency. This is the formula to calculate the product efficiency to monitor the hidden losses on the line. This is the sample report where operating rate and product efficiency has monitored. In this company, initially, product efficiency was below 30%. After setup of proper process, we achieved above 80%. The next is quality PPM. As I always say, quality data control is very important for process and product improvement. If data collection and analysis method is wrong, then you cannot achieve the proper improvements. These are the three methods to control PPM. We suggest using point PPM method. In 1990, the SMT PPM target by point method was below 100 PPM. At that time, machine accuracy was less. After 2010, SMT machine accuracy is less than 50 micron and quality also improved a lot. So now you can consider target of 50 ppm by point. In one company, after consulting, we achieve less than 10 ppm within two years. 
At the start, I shared my experience with the PCB and joint calculation method with consumer electronics and automobile sector. This is one more example of an automobile company. During audit, we did the data verification. Here, they use the joint method to calculate the PPM, but the data collection was point method. Means they collected defects by point method and divided it with number of joints, because of which the PPM was very less. We started with an explanation of five losses at SMT. Here, I want to remind you that to minimize the losses, one should always make a correct target. If you have set the target with the program cycle time, then you cannot improve the programming loss. Similarly, if the PPM calculation method is wrong, your PPM will always look best. So set the correct target and remember that the target should be fixed. It cannot be flexible. If you want to set up SMT standards and improve your process, contact us for the consulting. This is a result of our consulting. In this company, we achieved one line extra capacity with existing facility, also achieved less than 10 ppm quality level by point method which is around 300 ppm by PCB.